Welcome to our show, UFOs and Extraterrestrials. Stop all bloodshed to achieve a peaceful world, part one of two. Throughout history, the mysteries of unexplained aerial phenomena, or UAPs, have brought incredible and fascinating experiences to sky watchers. As ordinary citizens, we hear many stories about unidentified flying objects or UFOs, but don't know if the aircraft or flying objects are operated by Earthlings or by extraterrestrials. However, with the recent release of formerly classified documents by the US government, more information about UAPs and UFOs has been revealed. In response to a government bill signed by His Excellency Donald Trump, the U.S. Director of National Intelligence released a report on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP. The report states that from 2004 to 2021, U.S. intelligence agencies observed 144 airborne objects, only one of which could be explained. Regarding these objects, 18 incidents of unusual UAP movement patterns or flight characteristics occurred. Specifically, some UAPs appear to remain stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, maneuver abruptly, or move at considerable speed without discernible means of propulsion. These UAPs all appeared to possess advanced technology beyond the capabilities of any human-made aircraft. Although the report suggests further analysis to determine if breakthrough technologies were demonstrated, a UFO expert said these technological artifacts are way beyond our comprehension. Many people believe that extraterrestrials most certainly do exist. Interestingly, many UFO sightings have been reported near nuclear facilities. Gary Hesseltine, a former police detective and vice president of the International Coalition of Extraterrestrial Research says, What a coincidence, I think, when we detonated our first atomic weapons, it sent an invisible shockwave out into space that was picked up by other civilizations who then realized that this creature on this planet had reached a level of technical achievement that it was able to split the atom. UFO researcher Robert Hastings has been investigating the close relationship between UFO sightings and their proximity to nuclear power plants, as well as nuclear research facilities and nuclear weapon storage bunkers at military bases all over the world, including in Japan, France, Belgium, the United Kingdom, Mexico, India, Pakistan, Russia and the United States. The connection between UFOs and nuclear weapons has been documented as far back as the very first atomic blast, the Trinity Explosion in 1945, New Mexico. Since then, hundreds of former military personnel have come forward with reports of unknown craft buzzing nuclear tests, atomic labs, and missile bases. A group of former officers told about their encounters at a Washington news conference in October of this year. Investigator Robert Hastings has obtained hundreds of pages of once classified Pentagon files about these incidents and has personally interviewed more than 150 retired military officers about ominous encounters involving nuclear weapons. UFOs have routinely monitored our nuclear weapons going back decades. Do not grieve the unsuspecting birds by taking eggs, for injustice is the worst of crimes. al Maari, vegan. We'll pause for a moment now to pray for world vegan and world peace. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program on UFOs and the peaceful message extraterrestrials are trying to share with humanity. Captain Robert Salas who served for seven years in the United States Air Force, described an incident that he witnessed 
when 10 nuclear missiles were believed to have been disabled by UFOs on March 24, 1967 at Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, USA. It was reported to me, and by the way, I was underground, locked in. I couldn't uh, go upstairs and take a look at it because uh, obviously we're controlling nuclear weapons. Uh, we can't uh, do that sort of thing. Uh, at any rate, uh, this object flew uh, extremely fast, stopped on a dime, reverse course, made 90 degree turns, very much like what was reported by those uh, pilots of the Navy. So there's no question in my mind, uh, it made no engine noise. Uh, this was reported from the upstairs guards, very unusual objects. Captain Robert Salas explains what happened when 10 missiles were deactivated while the UFO was hovering over the nuclear site. And they shut down my missiles, uh, 10 of them, uh, by simply upsetting our, our uh, inertial navigation system of the missile. Uh, they did no damage, I want to emphasize that, they did no damage to the equipment. Yep. They simply shut them down and uh, they were brought up back up on alert very quickly. This was also not a single isolated incident. Before this event, the strange object also disabled nuclear missiles at Minot Base, North Dakota. This was described as an impossible action by a human because each missile was running its own system. They all agree that there was no te technical explanation for what occurred. In fact, the engineering reports from Boeing Corporation stated just that. In fact, all seven of the persons who appeared with me believe that we are dealing with extraterrestrials. Some of them stated it explicitly at the press conference. These actions represent a signal being sent. Uh, I'm of the opinion that whoever aboard these craft are telling us and the Russians, because these things have taken place in the former Soviet Union, that humans are playing with fire by possessing and threatening to use nuclear weapons. During a video conference with Supreme Master Cheng Hai, our association members asked questions about UFOs disabling nuclear weapons. Recently, the mainstream media is circulating the news about a former um, U.S. military airman uh, asserting that UFOs have been visiting Earth and deactivating nuclear weapons. Yeah, it's true. I tell you, it's one of the interference and help. Great help, yes. Right. Master, where do these UFOs come from? Are they from space or are they from Earth? Why don't you ask them, huh, honey? <laughs> They do come from the space, and they do also came from Earth. Oh, wow. The under Earth, the Earth beneath us. Yes. Master, what messages are they trying to send by deactivating the missiles? If they deactivated these, is there a reason why they can't do it for all the wars happening now? They can do everything, I told you already. <laughs> Even aliens, they are not almighty. Okay? Yes. They do what they can only. And what do you think the message they send to us when they try to deactivate or they <laughs> deactivated the nuclear power? What do you think they want to say to us? The war is very bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Hell. Yes. You look at how many people suffer in Hiroshima, for example, huh? The Japanese. They still suffer now. After so many decades, still people are affected by the nuclear energy. It's terrible. Imagine if it's us. So they try to deactivate so that we stop it, so that yes. we will not be able to use it. They do as many as they can, but they cannot do all. Yes, I See what I mean? Yes. So war must stop by humans' a realization of brotherhood and true love, you see, by changing our concept of life, how we must live our life as a human being, see? We thank our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai for sharing her knowledge about UFOs, extraterrestrials, and their peaceful intentions for humanity. We thank all former officials, investigators, and journalists for sharing their research about UFOs. We hope that society will soon understand their message and change to the noble vegan way of life to bring about peace and harmony on Earth. Mm -hmm.